Kia ora koutou. My name is Jane Maidment and I am the course coordinator for the degree of Masters of Social Work Applied. The MSW Applied is a first professional qualification. What that means is that people who have an undergraduate degree in a social science subject are eligible to apply for the MSW Applied. A social science subject, examples of those are psychology, sociology, anthropology, criminal justice and human services. And there are others as well. So first we ask for people to have a social science degree, but secondly to have a B average in the final year of that degree. We deliver uh, the MSW applied using blended learning. So that is, means the first year we have some block course on campus delivery and in between times we have online delivery. This degree will enable you to have a provisional registration at the completion and to apply for social work related positions. Our record of our graduates gaining employment is really good and there are plenty of jobs out there. So if you're interested in working with people and enjoy challenge and engaging with complex situations, this could be the degree for you. Hi, I'm Gretchen Perry. I'm an associate professor here in the social work program at the University of Canterbury. I teach two courses in the Master's Applied program. Uh, the first I want to talk about is the mental health course. It's fully online and it focuses on mental health, um, what that is, what that means for practice for social workers here in New Zealand. It's quite applied and so we really focus on what would a social worker need to know and how might they intervene when working with people with mental health needs. I think the important thing is there's a strong integration of bicultural practice that's involved in that program, as well as being able to have a lot of discussion amongst the students. Because the students come from a wide range of backgrounds, having a lot of online engagement between the students means that they can really learn from each other, not just the academic material or what I have to offer. So it's much more broader focus. I think Canterbury is a really important place to do social work because we've been through so much here. Um, there's of course the a history with the earthquakes and the shooting last year, which are major tragedies for any place. But Canterbury has been able to really respond to those challenges and learn how to deal with those things and support social workers so that when they're out in the field, they're much more prepared to navigate those kinds of things. Another course I teach is Quantitative Methods, which I co-teach with Raywin Tudor. That course is a blended learning course, and uh, the focus is both qualitative and quantitative methods. And the benefit of that is that it really prepares students, if they want to, to be able to move from master's potentially into a PhD later. It gives students the opportunity to move on to a PhD if they choose to do that. The interesting things that we do in the research methods course is we integrate a whole series of things that come from very different theoretical perspectives. Because social workers are engaged in applied work, it means that we have to be up to date in evidence-based practice. And so we give students the tools of how do they actually engage with empirical research or evidence-based research for their practice. So it gives them the specific tools to do that, not just for the course, but throughout their careers. So they can keep on top of ongoing learning and be really uh, engaged in quality research throughout their careers. One of the nice things about this course is we use a lot of examples from current literature. So in terms of Canterbury, we can bring in things around what happened in terms of concerns 
relevant to Cantabrians and social work specifically around recovery from the earthquakes and other trauma, as well as the South Island feel, um, the engagement with that complex uh, relationship with urban and rural challenges. So topics like that can be brought into a methods course where we're using research in those areas as a way of guiding us through understanding research methods. Another real benefit to this course is that it becomes a real foundation for other research methods and integration courses in the program as well. So there is a subsequent course in research integration, but it really requires this base foundation that we're able to provide that through this course. My name is Yvonne Crichton-Hill and I'm the lead of the social work program. MSW Applied has a course in the first year, it's a theory and methods course, and in that course what students get to look at is the theories and methods that influence social work practice on the ground. So some of the content includes Indigenous theories along with Western theories, and we also look at multidisciplinary practice. So it's really about we've got theory, how does that connect what, what, with what we do as social workers every day? So the other course is a, a final year research course. That course is pretty exciting because it builds on a research course from the previous year, but it gives students the opportunity to engage with social services in the Christchurch Canterbury region. And what students do is they actually have the, the opportunity to talk with people, uh, social workers or other disciplines, about the work that they do and any issues that might arise. So they actually get to do interviews which is very exciting, and so it's hands-on work in the community actually carrying out research. The research projects we've done in the past have included uh, work with the CDHB, the Canterbury District Health Board, work with Bernardo's, and with Integrated Safety Response, which is um, interviews with people who work in the family violence field. I teach in the degree, the practice skills course. In that course, um, we teach interviewing skills and they are predominantly around authentic case material scenarios. So we do a lot of practicing of interviewing and we learn the components of a successful interview, but also how to conduct an assessment and intervention in realistic case study scenarios. So it's a very uh, interactive class and we do a lot of role plays and filming of role plays. And that's a very practical way of learning how to do social work. I'm Raywin Tudor and I'm a lecturer in the social work program, which is part of the Department of Human Services and Social Work. One of the uh, main courses that our Masters of Social Work students uh, uh, have the opportunity to um, be part of is uh, Mana Motuhake, which is uh, Social Work 612, a bicultural analysis. And that course uh, is a blended learning course, like the majority of our courses in the MSW. And students are uh, are able to gain an understanding of Te Ao, te ao Māori worldview and also uh, experiences of Māori in Aotearoa and uh, tikanga. And students uh, use that information to inform their own developing framework for practice with Māori in Aotearoa and as part of that reflect on their own cultural um, dimensions and what that means for them in terms of what they bring uh, to a social work practice, the assumptions and prior knowledge that they have, the ability to reflect on that and think about what that means for working purposefully and respectfully with Māori. The actual um, uh, process of uh, being a student on that course involves wānanga based learning, so the students have three opportunities to um, be together with their lecturers, and that's myself and also 
um, another person from our Māori Studies Department, Aotahi. Um, and students uh, have full day wānanga, and one of those days is based in a local marae. So students go out there and are able to experience a pōwhiri and be involved in the workings of the marae. And also, as part of that day, they have um, presentations and uh, kōrero from local kaupapa Māori uh, social service uh, leaders who share their wisdom and knowledge of tikanga, such as tinoranga, tiratanga, manakitanga, and fanonatanga. The other um, important aspect of the Masters of Social Work Applied Program is our field education also referred to as placements. Students are enrolled in two practicum courses, which gives them the opportunity to have uh, two 60-day placements in a local Ōtautahi social service agency. Some students go further afield if they are able to, um, within other parts of the South Island or the North Island. And also students have uh, another, that other placement in a not-for-profit or non-government non agency, such as Presbyterian Support, Methodist Child and Family, Open Home, uh, a community development type service. So a whole range of experiences which bring, uh, which give them a, a wealth of skills and knowledge across um, the diverse range of fields of practice for social work, preparing them to uh, be able to go into generalist social work practice in Aotearoa, but also internationally. One of the cool things about social work is that you get to work with people all the time. And so if you enjoy people, <coughs> working with people, talking to people, this could be the course for you. Um, as I mentioned before, we have a really high employment rate with our um, students, and this course and registration will enable you to have um, practice as a registered social worker here in New Zealand, and it will enable you to also practice overseas. We look forward to hearing from you.